Besides the uh, more um, dairy cows, we have also the so-called dual purpose cows. So meant to be bred for uh, milk and beef purposes. And this mo most dominant breed is the so-called Simmental or uh, in German saying Fleckvieh cow. This uh, Fleckvieh cow has a very uh, big dominance in uh, South Germany, for example, and uh, in these territories of, uh, yeah, once again, uh, Austria, partly Switzerland and uh, in these eastern states of Europe. And uh, this breed has uh, some interesting advantages because um, the breed um, says that the cow produces milk, but also has a very good uh, heavy weight when to go to the to the butcher to, to, to be culled. And um, this is a very interesting economic impact. This cow um, was cultivated genetically in, uh, in Germany. So the breeding organizations in Germany are quite actively trying to make this breed a bit more dominant around the world. And they have um, somehow some success to uh, see that the Fleckvieh cow has um, some entrances in um, Africa and uh, definitely also some uh, farms in, in the Americas. And uh, we see some farms also on the large mega farms in, uh, in Russia and, uh, and also in, in, in China. This breed um, is different to the typical Holstein cow. So a smaller cow, but a more beefy cow. So that means a more heavier muscled cow. Uh, in terms of the anatomy, the cow looks uh, completely uh, different uh, towards to the Holstein cow because there is a more um, beef effect. Because once again, as I said, this breed was meant to be uh, cultivated for, for both aspects, dairy and beef production.